Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business once again, coming at you about QuickBooks Point of Sale. Today we are going to cover a very important topic, at least important to some, and that is actually importing your QuickBooks accounting, or some people call it QuickBooks Financial, QuickBooks Desktop, importing items from QuickBooks into QuickBooks Point of Sale. So people might need to do this for a number of different reasons. Um, one would be that they just hooked up QuickBooks point of sale. They, they were finding that they could no longer run in QuickBooks accounting alone because it just wasn't acting as a point of sale like they needed it to. So then they went out and purchased QuickBooks point of sale and they want to get their items over to QuickBooks point of sale from their previous QuickBooks. Uh, so I have my point of sale file here. I also have a QuickBooks file. I just created a couple of items right here. This is a uh, QuickBooks. Well, this is accountant edition, but it could be any QuickBooks. So I'm on the item list here and I created a sharp pocket knife and a special mug. And I would like them to get on over to my QuickBooks point of sale. So my QuickBooks and QuickBooks point of sale are already attached to each other. And if you don't know how to do that, you can watch our video on how to do that. There's actually a question in there that asks you if you want to import your desktop items over to QuickBooks point of sale. So you can answer yes, and you can go ahead and do that if you'd like. But if they're already attached and you, uh, you still have some items in QuickBooks accounting that you want to bring over, I will tell you there's, there's a few notes I'm going to share with you. So if there's, so if there are still items in your QuickBooks that you want to get over to point of sale, you can do that after the attachment. <clears throat> you can actually do this import process as many times as you like, and you can uh, just select certain items uh, now, and you can do it again later and select other items. Now, I am going to tell you that once you import these items over to point of sale, they are no longer going to be active in QuickBooks accounting. So. Uh, if you're looking to use them in both places, you can't do that. You, you just got to have an item one place or the other and manage it in whichever place you have it in. Now I'm going to go on the financial menu, go to the financial center. Right now I'm going to go to show advanced options. Like I said, I've already got this connected, so I'm going to choose import items now. So here it pops up and it's um, asking me where I want to map uh, the item name from. So in point of sale over here, you can see we have item name and it's wondering where it should look in QuickBooks accounting for that. So it could be either the item name, either sales or purchase description. Now I'm going to show you in QuickBooks accounting real quick what that means. So here I've got the item name, we got special mug and sharp pocket knife, and then I've got description. And I believe both my sales and purchasing description are the same on these. If I double click, we see we've got sharp pocket knife is the item name. And we've got the description here and description here. Now, some people might just have for an item name, they might have the SKU or something like that. And for the description, they might have the actual real name of their product. So that's why it's giving you this option. For me, I'm going to choose item name, but for you, maybe it's, maybe your sales description says the actual product name. Now for item description, pretty simple. I just showed you these other fields. We got sales description. And then for alternate lookup, it says it's just going to automatically import the item name into that field. So clicking next below, we'll start the import process. Do I want to select specific inventory items? If you say no, it's just going to import every single thing. I'm going to say yes, I want to select specific ones. So here it pops up my entire QuickBooks accounting item list. We can see it here. By the way, to get to this, if you're wondering, it's under lists, item list. So back to point of sale. Really, I only want my 
special mug and my sharp pocket knife to come over. Oh, these check marks are not very clickable. Okay, so now I just have selected special mug and sharp pocket knife. Okay, you can also do some filters or you can sort by the category, uh, the column name here. And so if you're having a hard time finding the exact things that you want to import, you can do that. Or you can do a filter and you can find exactly what you're looking for. Oh, look at that. Check marked it. Okay. Now I got just the two check marked. I'm going to hit okay. Importing items. It said successful. I'm going to close this screen. I'm going to jump on over to my item list. And now I can see item number nine and item number 10 are sharp pocket knife and special mug. Now real quick, I'm going to go to edit because we have some special notes that we need to take a look at here. Now in the item specifics here, you're going to want to pay attention to a couple of things. The vendor did come over. That's fine. It's an inventory item because it was an inventory item in QuickBooks. Now the department is something you're going to want to take a look at right here. It just says QuickBooks financial software. You're actually going to need to switch this to the correct department, whatever you want it to land in, because it does not, uh, it does not map departments. I don't, there is no departments in QuickBooks financial. So go ahead and choose the correct department on each of your items. And you might need to go through all of them, do that size and attribute would not come over also UPC since this is um, this process was created a long time ago when QuickBooks did not have UPCs you will have to fill in a UPC or just start printing tags for the item number but the UPC does not come in from QuickBooks accounting uh, also price levels will not come over you want to check those out if you have any special price levels and then uh, actually custom fields is something that will come over and the caveat to that is if you have a custom field in QuickBooks accounting you're going to want to uh, make a custom field in QuickBooks point of sale that has the exact same name and if it has the exact same name then it will import you're going to want to quickly look over your QuickBooks options uh, like which accounts this is attached to and make sure they're the right ones for you. I believe these are just the defaults, so they're fine for most people. But if you have any special uh, needs for your cost of goods, income, and asset accounts, then you'll want to take a look at these. Otherwise, that's mainly it. Thanks for coming along on this video and learning how to import items that were already in your QuickBooks accounting over to QuickBooks Point of Sale. My name is Peter with BlackRock Business. Don't forget to check the description down below. We got a few QuickBooks secrets for you right there. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you.